Okay, this is just a quick video on how to convert your 10 pin assembly line data link connector, the ALDL plug, to a standard 16 pin European onboard diagnostic plug or OBD2 plug on a C20XE red top Vauxhall engine. The plug that I got was from a 52 plate Mondeo, but it doesn't really matter where you get it from as long as it's got the 16 pins and looks like that. Um, I connected only five wires to this. Now, I've only connected it to read the engine ECU. Um, I can't read ABS because this car doesn't have ABS or airbag because it doesn't have airbag. So I was only interested in reading the engine ECU. The five wires I connected, the first two were pin four and pin five. I joined them together and they are both grounded to earth. Pin four is a chassis earth. Pin 5 is a signal earth, um, a lot of diagnostic equipment you will use a pin 5 to earth out the machine. You can join these both together and connect them to the chassis earth. The third pin was pin 16 in the far right corner. This is a permanent live, this just connects to battery positive, it's constantly live. Now the two wires to communicate with the ECUs um, the two protocols are the K line and the L line. The original B or pin B on the ALDL plug, which is the brown, brown and yellow wire, which went to pin B, you connect that to pin 15, which is the L line and the original brown and white wire which was originally connected to pin G on the ALDL plug is now connected to pin 7 which is the K line so the L line pin 15 is the brown and yellow wire and the brown and white wire which was pin G is to pin 7 which is the K line. Now on the original diagnostic equipment if you wanted to read the trouble codes you'd have to bridge out A on the ALDL plug which was earth and B which was your brown and yellow wire which is now connected to the L line and switch the ignition on and it will flash the engine management light with a code this way is much easier you just take a stand your 16 pin OBD plug connect into the vehicle wait for the box to power up now this vehicle will have to be populated with the original details from the car which was a Vauxhall Astra F it was a 2 litre and it was a C20 XE correct go now there's two types of engine ECU I have the coil pack version which uses the Motronic 2.8 if you have a distributor you're using the Motronic 2.5 select the year mine one was from a Vauxhall Astra 1993 it was a Motronic so it was not a Moltec continue Select ECU, we have two options, Motronic 2.5, which is your distributor version, and Motronic 2.8, which is your coil pack version. We're going to select the 2.8, direct search. Now, this vehicle is not supposed to have a 16 pin OBD plug, so it's asking me to do a pin out, I don't want to do a pin out, ignore. Connect in. And we 
connected. Now we can read memory error. Before you would have bridged out A and B, turned the ignition on, the engine management light would have flashed the code 12 at you and then it would have flashed the code 31 because the engine's not running. Here we go, code 31, engine speed signal at cranking speed 40. This will always come up on these vehicles because the engine's not running. If we return, we can read actual values, throttle potentiometer, as I push the throttle pedal, you can see the voltage change. So we can read live data from this ECU. We start the engine. Battery voltage, throttle, engine speed, engine temperature sensor. Got a good charge rate, 23 degrees, 24 degrees, engine idle speed, give it a blip. Air temperature sensor, get rid of battery voltage. We clear all these actually. We can read the injector duration. Injectors are firing at 3.5 milliseconds. Give it a blip of throttle. This vehicle does have a problem with its O2 sensor. It doesn't switch particularly well. We can change that to a graph. Zoom in. Although this looks like it's switching, it is actually only switching between 0.4 of a volt and 0.5 of a volt. It should be switching between 0 and 9, 0.9. So you can actually see between 0 0.0 and 1 volt, the oxygen sensor isn't actually working as well as it should. In a minute that will flash up a code for code 13 oxygen sensor. This engine's only just been fitted, so it does need playing around with. None of this is working because I don't have air conditioning. 